we have here is what we call living paintings. And my partner Hugo over here is demonstrating its capabilities. Think about this, if you look at uh, these TVs, they actually look like digital paintings. This could be hanging in your wall, it could be hanging in your office, it could be in a museum. But what's different about this digital picture is actually it can interact with you. So what it's doing right now, and the parallax movement you're seeing, is it's detecting my face from that camera right there. And literally, as I move, that painting is moving with me. And you can see here in a moment my friend Hugo doing the exact same thing. So we're not trying to demonstrate uh, an interesting way to do yoga where you're moving around on a painting, but it's the point that by walking up to a surface like a painting, I can actually start interacting with it because i.mx is on the back side of it looking at me through that camera. And if you look up here uh, with your goggles or your phone up onto this uh, status screen, you can see Hugo's face as it goes through all the debug steps. There's about 12 different steps that it walks through to actually get the final face recognition, which uh, if it shows up well on your camera is the bottom right-hand corner picture. It's got a circle around his face. Now the whole point about that is that it can recognize me. And if you have, say, secure bracelets that have a secure ID on you, or if you just want to use human facial recognition to identify you, you can walk into one of these paintings digitally, securely and safely, and see something new. So, this could be in the, your bathroom area. If you have a medical condition, you're about to go on a run, I can have a medical mirror with my stats come up on this screen simply by walking up to it. And by using a secure bracelet, I can identify myself so that my information is secure coming in from the cloud or locally stored and uh, not, be, uh, uh, not have a problem with somebody acquiring that information. And as Hugo has shown over here, he's done the exact same thing. But what we've seen is a virtual walkthrough of a mall. So certainly as you're putting virtual reality goggles on, this allows you to walk up to a system, identify yourself, and actually walk through a mall, your workplace. It could be in the Alps, you could climb Everest just by looking at a surface in the form of a painting.